Well, uh, it was great to be back in Cameron tonight. I thought our, thought our guys did a great job of sharing the ball and playing with great effort and energy. Um, you know, and probably there's some nerves in the beginning, right? It's your first time playing. You think about the entire summer, uh, the workouts that we have and the fall, and finally get out on the court against somebody else. I uh, thought it was really important for our guys. Just we're still learning about each other and uh, how to play with one another. But I think it starts with our energy on the defensive end. Uh, it carried over to our offense, the way we shared the ball and played together. You know, I thought Jeremy set the tone for that. Uh, you know, he had eight, eight assists and one turnover. You know, Tyrese, three assists. We need those guys along with Jalen. And Jalen had a few turnovers at the end, but you know, he was being too unselfish trying to get guys shots. So trying to get guys shots. So for me... Uh, really pleased with today, uh, you know, playing Fayetteville State. You know, they're champions in their league. Uh, they're going to be one of the best teams in the CIAA this year. And, you know, honor to play those guys. I've known about Fayetteville State for a long time, you know, Jeff Capel and his dad. And uh, it was an honor to play them and an honor, you know, to walk out there as a head coach for our first game. How did you feel about your team's defense tonight? It looked like you were, you were being the aggressive. Yeah, well, that's that's important for us, right? Where you know the offense or the other team isn't dictating how the game is going to be played. And you know, actually, Fayetteville State they run a lot of actions. You know, they run a lot of actions and they run some really good stuff. So, so for our team, it was our first time seeing being put in some of those situations. So you're on the fly. You really need to communicate and talk. And um, you know, I thought the intensity of you know understanding our worthy. I mean, he can go off at any time and. You know, we were fortunate that he didn't make some shots tonight, but that'll be a key defending somebody else's best player or best scorer. Uh, but really pleased with our defensive effort. If we can just finish it off with some rebounds, then it would be great. So that's, that's the next step. We, we have to rebound and do a much better job there, but uh, good effort. Do you know that fans Lively or Whitehead are playing Monday night? Sorry, what did you say, Steve? Lively and Whitehead, do you know what their status might be for Monday night? Yeah, still don't know what their status is. You know, uh, Derek definitely won't play Monday. He's still, you know, you know, a couple of weeks away. And uh, with Derek, he's still day to day. He's been really ramping up. I think the big thing for both of those guys is not just being completely healthy, which uh, they're right there, but it's you have to build up your game shape again. And we don't want to, you know, put them out there too early at all. And uh, but they're working hard. They were out here, you know, right after our walkthrough today on the court and building out their conditioning, and they're working every day to get back out there with us as soon as possible. John, one thing that stood out was how many different ways you had of initiating the fast break. It seemed like any time anybody got the ball, it was zoomed down court, whether it was a dribble or, or a long pass. Is that is get the ball and go going to be part of this team's identity? Yeah, we definitely want to play fast. You know, we have, you know, uh, four guys on the floor at times, even five guys who can push and start the break. And, uh, we made really good decisions. I thought we, you know, had them on their heels and ran the spots. And when we had early opportunities to to drive or get to the rim, we did a good job taking advantage of that. But definitely want to play fast. And it's hard to play fast if you don't get stops, right? So for us, we were able to do that tonight, and uh, we need to continue to do that. Yeah, the the secret scrimmage you're talking about is that <laughs> Steve? Yeah, <laughs> I'm just making sure we're talking about the same one. Uh, uh, I know the yeah. box score is out there, and uh, yeah, but uh, you know, I think f just for us playing a, a program like that and a team like that, uh, we learned a lot. I think we learned that you know we can be really good, and also learned that there's a lot we need to do better. And uh, I think what Tyrese is saying is fair, but also. Uh, you know, credit to those guys for how they defend and they get after you. But I thought it really helped us tonight, knowing how hard you have to work in every possession. Coach, you guys came out in the full court press uh, tonight, as well as a ton of switching on defense, even guard to big. Are these things we can expect to see more of this season? Yeah, it's, uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> you know, for us, we're, uh, we're evolving so much as a team. And, you know, each day we play, whether we practice or play a game, uh, it's about developing our habits. You know, we have a lot of work to, get, to do. We're a very versatile group. You know, we hope we can play multiple ways in pick and roll defense. That's obviously any team we play, that's what teams try to do, and you have to be really good at it. Uh, but we've made a lot of strides in the preseason of just getting better at it. And then depending on who we're playing, depending on situations, we have to be prepared to defend in multiple ways. Mark, with multiple ways, how much does Mark Mitchell's versatility 
Yeah, Mark is huge for us. You know, he really can guard all five positions on the court. He plays with great energy. You know, he's not concerned with any stats or about scoring. He's just – and by the way, he can fill up the box score. I mean, tonight he had, you know, 15 and 6, but he's, you know, did it in 22 minutes and really can pass, and he's an easy guy to play with. Uh, so uh, Mark is – like, we feel Mark should be as good as any defender in the country. That's how we feel about Mark, his versatility uh, – and his ability to guard smaller or, or quicker players, but also bigs with using his quickness uh, is a huge asset for us. Uh, Jalen, Tyrese, Jeremy, you guys have a lot of options in front court that all saw ample time tonight. How are you feeling about your depth in that area? Yeah, really good. You know, I feel you know, even better once we get, you know, Derek and Dorit back. But, uh, you know, our depth is, we feel, is a big strength of ours. And, again, tonight um, – you know, the, the versatility with lineups where really you can have, you can go big, you can go smaller. Uh, when we did that, we, we switched everything on the floor. With the bigger group, we played differently defensively. But the thing that's consistent uh, is on the offensive end, sharing it and moving. That's, that's a big thing for us. And we, when we feel we do that, we can get, you know, great shots. And then to follow it up, I would have liked us to get on the offensive glass even more tonight. There you go. John, ask about it. Yeah, I mean, look, I've Kyrie replaced me as the point guard here. You know, I've I've known Kyrie for a long time, and I've had nothing but incredible interactions with him. For me, it's less about Kyrie; and it's more just about what's happening all across our country, right? I mean, you see things in the news, and it's concerning. Like anti-Semitism of any kind is is horrible and wrong and unacceptable. And, you know, I think it's important for all of us, you know, for myself being the coach here, for whoever, you know, use our platform, you know, the right way. And, you know, I always speak out against that. And, you know, I don't want to comment on Kyrie without talking to him first. You know, I've known Kyrie for a long time. And like I said, I've had nothing but great interactions with him, you know, and uh, besides him taking my spot and everybody saying there's an improvement. But, but besides that, Kyrie is... Uh, I don't want to make it about Kyrie, Kyrie, just about our country right now and what's happening. It's, it's sad to me. And, uh, you know, that's something I'll always speak up on, and we have to do a much better job of.